hey guys welcome back to my channel and this is Manish Verma so in this video I am just making a small clip video about the bubble sort in the Python so if you want to implement that technique in a JavaScript Java C++ C it's your wish go ahead for it and now I am just implementing that language that uh, sorting technique in a Python so let's start from the beginning so I'm just taking a first of all a variable which is user and I'm taking a input prompt so in the input prompt I'm just writing enter number of elements or you can also say that uh, array okay and the now second variable which is suppose I am taking only a num and in the num I am creating an array which have a integer x in the integer x what where what I want to do with a for loop which is for x in x I am just creating a user dot split method I hope you know that split method if you don't know so please watch my crash course video about the Python in that crash course video I am just uh, giving you a full information of the Python language okay so go ahead and watch it now and the now I am creating a, another variable which is count in the count this is the main this is doing the my main process which are the number of length we are importing in a number okay in a number so it's calculating a number of length in a number okay and now our main logic is for loop outside it's my outside loop so I am just write a outside and in the outside I am creating a loop which is range count minus one okay so with the help of minus one it's decreasing by one only okay and the my inner loop is said that the I in range range count minus outside minus one just look at here guys this is not a big thing it's just saying that my count which is eights and the outside which is eights and minus one means if I have write an array which have indexes suppose 10 okay so it's fr it start from the 0 okay so then it's store a 10 in it and the next in the outside it's make a functionality of count minus 1 so it's store a 9 outside and again I am doing the minus 1 okay so it's mean is storing is starting their functionality functionality with the 0 means initially they will started from the zero and gradually increasing their value with the help of loops okay so that's a basic functionality so after that i am just saying here if my num after the loop i am creating a num if my num of i if my num of i is greater than num of i plus 1 okay then they will doing for me swapping method which is temp equals to num dot i and in the num dot i equals to num dot i plus 1 
in the num dot i plus one it's an ordinary swapping, swapping method guys not a big technique okay and in the num of i i am showing at my temp that's it only so print it now So it's asking me a enter number of arrays. I am entering number of arrays which is 45 uh, and 46 and 99 sorry 99 88 77 55 40 54 something random number that's it only and just enter it. So it's creating me a sorting my it's having a some error which is it's 45 46 20 okay 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 it's just a minute yup 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 num yes outside in rent yes I have just removed my account again I am printing now it's sorted for me it's showing me an error with the comment only okay so it's sorted now again i am pressing that run command yeah it's already running yeah i want to sort it 99 88 77 66 55 44 33 random number only okay that's it and it's sorted for me in a ascending order if you want to sort it in a descending order you have just changed that sign only in the less than okay again run it again write your random number yeah it's sorted for you in a descending order you have just look at here okay so this is the basic technique of a sorting and in the python language so that's it only and i want to show you a uh, something more which is helpful for you uh, this is the image of that i am in the wikipedia section so this is the image of gif okay 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 yeah loads yeah so you will look at here i hope you will understand that sorting technique in the animation form so it's swapping the five or six and now it's swapping a six or three in a ascending order okay and now is swapping that both number and it's not swapping that number and now it's swapping that number and it's also swapping that two numbers eight or two and also swapping the eight and four so when they swapping that last number then again the loop are started from the beginning to the last okay you have just remember and notice that the biggest number are 
slowly drop down to the last section okay or you can say that last element so which is the 8 it is the largest number then they are slowly stored in the last index of an array so this is the basic technique or this is the main technique of a bubble sort so i hope you will like my video and see you soon in the next video.